Welcome to the second episode of The Bob Wall Show. On The Bob Wall Show, we talk business, we talk St. Louis, and we talk real estate. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about coming soon signs. What's the big deal? Why is everyone getting all upset over them? Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode two of the Bob Wall Show, where we are talking about coming soon signs. Coming soon signs are sometimes used when a seller is about to put their home on the market. Maybe they still have a few more improvements to do to the home before they list it, or maybe they just need, for personal reasons, a few more days or a few more weeks before they officially put it on the market. In some cases, it makes sense to have a coming soon sign put out, and it's a perfectly acceptable thing to do. But there's a few reasons why agents are getting upset when they see this happen. There's a suspicion that maybe there's a few real estate brokerages or agents out there that are using the coming soon signs to lure buyers in that way they can receive both ends of the commission. By having a coming soon sign put out in front of your house, there is a chance that a better chance that a potential buyer that is interested in the home is not going to be working with an agent at the time when they inquire about the property. So instead of splitting, say, a 6% commission with a buyer's agent, they sometimes are often able to get both ends of the transaction and receiving the full 6%. Most agents and brokerages have a very low tolerance for this. There's nothing wrong with the coming soon sign, assuming it's for the best intentions of your client. But a lot of agents feel it's crossing a line when the intentions is to lure potential buyers that aren't working with agents, not to actually look out for your client's best interests. So what can you do when discussing listing your home with a realtor and the subject of a coming soon sign comes up? When you're discussing the marketing plan for your home, ask the agent how the coming soon sign fits into the strategy. Another good question to ask is what that agent does when a potential buyer comes along that doesn't have representation from a realtor. There's generally three options realtors have when they run into this type of situation. First one, they can enter in into a transaction brokerage agreement with both parties. This means that they stay neutral, they represent neither one of you and they are just processing the transaction and putting the process through the through the motions. Second option, which isn't a good option, is they can represent both parties under a dual agency. Don't really see how this is an option because how do you really represent both parties? If they're negotiating inspection items and other various things, how are they going to properly represent both sides of the party when they're technically in the middle of it? And the third, and oftentimes the best option is to refer that client to another realtor. This gives both parties equal representation and in my opinion allows less chances for a more complicated situation to arise. There are times where a transaction brokerage would make sense depending on the situation, but it's a good discussion to have before listing a home just to be clear on how you are being fully represented in certain situations. In closing, sometimes it will make sense to have a coming soon sign. You just want to make sure that it ties into your marketing strategy and that you have a good feel for how it works when a buyer comes along that doesn't have representation from another realtor. You want to be sure that the agreement you're getting into is going to fully protect you throughout the negotiating process and through the entire transaction. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. I look forward to talking to you again next week, and goodbye for now.